What's going on, YouTube? You see the title of the video? I got my top five, Designer, Fall, and Winter Sense. Uh, before we even get started into that, man, hey, thank you, everybody that's viewed my videos, have liked my videos, man, and have subscribed to my channel. I've only been, shoot up here, what, seven days now? Yeah. It's only my third day out here. I don't Damn. Know. Yo, yo. <laughs> and my first video I got is almost 500 views. That's crazy. 33 likes. I mean, no, something around that. I think I have like 33 likes and 33 subscribers. Either way it go, thank you to everybody that so love, man. I appreciate the comments and I appreciate this being a help to you guys, you know what I'm saying? And being somebody that can, you know, talk to you guys about fragrance, especially in this community. Cause I mean, it's, it's a passion of mine, man. I love fragrance. I love smelling fragrance. Shoot, it's a costly one, but hey, we all, we all gotta have something, you know what I'm saying? That we indulge in the life, but hey, y'all ain't coming for all that. Without further, <laughs> furthermore, man, we got my top five uh, fall and winter designer fragrances. Starting off with number one. These are in no particular order, but I will give you guys the top notes, middle notes, and base notes, because I realized I did not do that in the last one. Now, I don't know what the hell a bergamot is, you know what I'm saying? But I know it smells good, you know? Cardamom, all that other stuff. I know it smells good. I don't know what it is, man. I'm your average Joe, all right? So don't be asking me, but hey, if you know what it is, you should know what it smells like. Without further ado, man, number one, we got Dolce & Gabbana. That Dolce. Dolce & Gabbana, the one, EDP. EDP, boy. Classy. Nine out of 10 fragrance, man. Man. 9.5 out of 10, matter of fact. Now, let me tell you guys a story. When I first started collecting fragrances some years ago, I didn't know the difference between EDT, EDP, and Parfum, and you guys might not either. So for the people that don't, let me break it down to you so you know. Uh, so you start off with, it's like tiers, right? You got EDT, EDP, and then you got P, which is Parfum. So you got EDT, which is Eau de Toilette, <laughs> and you got Eau de Parfum, and then you got Parfum, all right? And these are based pretty much off of the concentration levels. When I first bought Dolce & Gabbana, the one, yeah, I did it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I bought EDT. Now, does it still smell good? Hell yeah. But is, is it as good as this one right here? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? The top notes in this one, though, man, we have Violet, Bergamot. They go that Bergamot word. Uh, orange. In the middle notes, we have coffee, pear, iris, rose, <laughs> orange blossom. Base notes, we have caramel, vanilla, and patchouli. Y'all, this is a beautiful scent, man. If you got a shorty you've been trying to get with for a while, and she finally, you know what I'm saying, let you take her on a date, first of all, nah, we ain't gonna say that. But she finally let you take her on a date, man. Reach for this right here. I promise you ain't gonna go wrong, man. Two to the back of the neck, one to each crease of the arm, and one in your shirt. Yeah, this far. All right, number two. Now, ooh, sorry, y'all. Three of these I'm going to mention, discontinued. Like I said, this is according to my collection. I don't have every scent there is in the world. I wish I did. No, nah, nah, I wish I didn't. But I don't have every scent there is in the world, man. So this is according to my collection. So if you have these... Hey, you already know what we're talking about. If you don't have these and you're still able to get your hand on it, make that move. Number two, we have one million Privé. Dang, man, the bottle's so beautiful. I'm trying to get y'all a good angle on it. It's like a chocolate brown, man. Crazy. Crazy. I know what y'all gonna say. That's the reformer lady version. That's the reform. I don't care, bro. If it smell good, it smell good. Man, 10 out of 10. This is my favorite in the whole 1 million lineup, including the one that just came out, the Elixir, and that's fire. I ranked this number one. I ranked Elixir number two. Closely, be uh, closely behind Elixir, I rank Lucky. And behind Lucky, Lucky, I have the original. If you have any of those lineup, you can't go wrong. They're all fire, trust me. But this one right here, man, some people don't like what Paco Rabanne does. They says it's too sweet. 
But me personally, I enjoy the complexity of Paco Rabanne and the sweetness. It's not for everybody. Don't get me wrong. I understand it. I get it. But it's for me. And that's what that's what's important, man. When y'all collect these, these colognes and these scents, man, get what you like, please. Don't be trying to get something that somebody else like and they say it's a 10 out of 10. Please test it out, first of all. You know, and then make your own decision. Don't try to force yourself to like it. I've done it before, especially with ouds. I bought that ood mood and it was uh, <laughs> a bad idea. Let's just say that. But anyway, the top notes that we have in this one, we have cinnamon, blood, uh, sorry, blood mandarin. The middle notes, we have tobacco and I want to say mirror. One of y'all, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, my bad. It's M-Y-R-R-H. Uh, the base notes, we have tonka bean and patchouli. Uh, I'm getting that to I love tobacco scents, man. I love tobacco scents. Jerzhov, uh, Naxos, uh, freaking tobacco, uh, freaking red, red tobacco from Mansara. I love these scents. I love tobacco. I'm a tobacco kind of person. Um, the patchouli, uh, tonka bean, they have everything that I love in here. Like I said, I can't tell you what some of this stuff is, but I just know that it smells good because when I see it, I'm like. That's the one, my boy. And this one is definitely the one. Like I said, 10 out of 10 fragrance, man. Definitely. Next, we have none other than Armani. Uh, sorry, yeah, Aqua Di Gio Profumo by Giorgio Armani. Another discontinued fragrances. This uh, discontinued fragrance, golly. I don't know what's up with these brands, man. Like, y'all have these best sellers, and then y'all stop selling it. Why? It don't make sense to me, man. To me, this is the best in the lineup. Whatever. Excuse me. Anyway, man, when you smell this, you get that incense for me personally, right off the top. Incense and sage. This is beautiful, man. I love this scent. This is, in the fall and winter time, an everyday wearer. Like, the most versatile scent you can wear during the fall and winter, date night, errands, you going to the gym, whatever you're doing, you cannot go wrong with this scent. For the top notes, we have C notes and bergamot. Middle notes, we have rosemary, sage, and geranium. I believe that's pronounced right. I don't know what a geranium is. I can't tell you. I think it's a plant or something like that. Uh, base, we have incense and patchouli. That incense, patchouli, I'm getting incense, patchou uh, patchouli, rosemary and bergamot and only reason i say uh sage of course only reason why i say bergamot is because i smell bergamot and a lot of other fragrances not I, I can just pick up on it like i said i don't know what it is i don't care honestly but it smells good yeah uh nine out of ten for me man nine out of ten next we have y'all know what that is azaro the most wanted and this is the best in the collection in my opinion man ten out of ten i mean ten out of ten y'all this is such a good scent man I'm going to end up buying the 6.7 ounce bottle. This is already 3.4. I'm going to end up buying the 6.7 ounce bottle because I don't ever want to run out of this stuff, man. I have a lot of fragrances too, so it's probably not even needed for me to do, but I just want that peace of mind knowing that I would never run out of this fragrance. I want to be in my 70s wearing this fragrance. I want my kids' kids to wear this fragrance. I want my kids' kids' kids to wear... I was playing with y'all, man, but... <laughs> hey, this right here is fire. All right, man, no cap. This is fire, man. Top notes, we have cardamom, middle, uh, we have toffee. I'm getting that toffee in here, most definitely. And base notes, we have amberwood. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other notes. I'm getting all of these notes, y'all, from uh, Fragrantica. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other notes in these uh, fragrances. Uh, I mean, in this fragrance right here, because I highly doubt it. It's three notes. It's much more complex than that. But, hey, anyways, man, I love this fragrance. 10 out of 10. If you are looking to get into the Zorro, Line up, start with this one. Trust me, you would not go wrong. Any age group, trust me. Just, just trust me, man. You're gonna thank me later. I seen some, <laughs> I seen somebody in Dillard's the other day, right? They walked in and um, they walked in and uh, they went to the counter and of course they, 
the, the uh the res whatever the uh representative they always try to get people to buy to survive right but anyway this dude picks up uh he picks up azaro but it's it's just azaro wanted like the first one i'm like nah bro put that shit down like you better yeah, pick this hole right here <laughs> like this pick this up man pick up the most i mean uh wanted by night pick up the uh, most wanted parfum but don't don't pick up that og that ain't it anyways man last but not least we have another i already showed y'all the bottle fuck it we have another discontinued fragrance man like i said armani what are y'all doing that is armani code absolute because it's absolutely amazing and I'm absolutely mad that they discontinued this. I'm gonna absolutely buy another bottle too, man. This is a beast, y'all. Right, I, I'm getting like a smooth vanilla at the base, and I already know that vanilla is in here. But trust me, this is this is fire vanilla. I'm getting apple, y'all. Like I said, I don't know why they discontinued some of the best fragrances in their lineup. But to me, in my humble opinion, this is the best Armani code in the Armani code lineup. Or it was because they discontinued it. But hey, if you have your friend, if you have your hands on this, uh keep it. If you have if you don't have your hands on this yet, you happen to stumble across it, buy it. I wouldn't spend no more than 150 on this. I wouldn't spend no more than 150 on any of these fragrances. Even I see they trying to sell this now, you know, the, the hype beast trying to sell like resell it for like 300 Look, y'all love fragrances man but don't go breaking your unless you really just got it like that hey do you but don't go breaking your pockets for fragrances man you can get a lot of good fragrances for the price of 300 dollars. trust me anyways man top notes we have green mandarin and apple i'm definitely getting that apple we have nutmeg i got the nutmeg i'm getting some orange orange blossom and carrot seeds and the base notes we have vanilla tonka bean and what uh suede sorry and woody notes I'm getting all of those, man. Like I said, this is a beautiful fragrance. This is another one that you can wear pretty much throughout throughout the day. It's versatile, day night, cuddle action. You got a late night, Netflix and chill. Pull up with this. Trust me, anything, anything, man. But hey, like I said, that's my top five, y'all, for the winter and fall um fall time. You guys, comment down below, man. Let me know what you're rocking with uh furthermore thank you guys for checking out my video make sure you leave that hit that like button subscribe man show your boy love man i appreciate everything that you guys you know uh tell me in the comments even on instagram and tiktok and hey i'm looking to get for it i'm looking <laughs> let's cut the video man i'll catch y'all later <laughs>